Hello, it's Sarah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Should have done that before I turned it on. Um, have a haul. And just uh, went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. Um, and my battery needed charging, so I didn't film it. But I found out since then that, like, a lot of this stuff wasn't 50% off. And the reason I got it was because I thought it was. So evidently, these, all these dress it up buttons were not 50% off, and I thought they were. So that's a big difference. It's at least 10 over $10. Um, because they were Christmas, I was at the Christmas, um, I don't go to Hobby Lobby very often. Oh, I got these very beautiful glass beads, but they're $8.99. These did come off. See, Christmas. Well, holiday. But this came up on my receipt, which I think it's in the kitchen now um but yeah all the stuff these did come off 50 percent and this did come off 50 percent because i like to make stick pins with these this is more um winter and it's only four beads for um four dollars so they're a dollar it's a dollar a piece for a bead but i think i'm gonna just make stick pins with them they're super pretty anyway. This one was much cheaper, $3.99. So that was only um, $2. And these are super pretty um, for Christmassy stuff, right? But yeah, so pretty disappointing. Um, I should check. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I didn't check. I trust them. And at Hobby Lobby, they input everything by hand. And my girl was like on the phone and doing a million things, really. I should have been more uh, diligent with my 50% off. But um, I have these, like, three boxes. I showed them in a previous video. They're like um, the paper mache, you know, boxes, literally, um, with the lids. And I wanted to make Christmas uh, tiles. Um, I just thought these buttons would be so adorable. So, look, I got more of the same really when it comes to the dress it up buttons um, this one was different waiting for Santa I because there's little glasses in there and the good and bad list these little a berry Merry Christmas these little bears were new I had I didn't never had them before um, I got more Christmas ornaments I love them they just look really nice as um, tiles and then I got some nutcrackers and I, I think I've gotten these before uh, deck the halls, a couple of reindeer, and some Christmas trees, and some bells. Yeah, I've had this one before. The oh dear, crazy looking deer. Look at them, how cute. Um, but yeah, a lot of money for that. Stupid. Makes me, you know, urgh. Um, <laughs> and I also got these, which were, this is the spare parts. Oh, well these were um, Make It Christmas. Parts for holiday projects, and these are flat back Christmas lights. And I've gotten these before, but they were the whole ones, so I thought the flat backs would be perfect. So I'll make some tiles with them too. Because um, even after my, um, excuse me, my uh, craft show, which is Saturday, it's just that these boxes I kind of wanted to just have them because they're bigger to ship. Like the the frames and the plaques and things like that are easier to ship because I am going to put stuff on Etsy. When I get back, I'm going to restock my store for Christmas. That's what I've decided. I'm going to put, like, various things in there. I don't know what at the moment, but I'll probably make a video to show you what I've put. Oh, I got these uh, Christmas by Bead Treasures. Definitely was 50% off. Man, I need to check my, um, and I'm pretty sure the Charmy, because I don't get it if it's not. These might not have been. I just wanted them, but I think they were. I might have used my coupon. I don't know. But these are stars, just a bunch of different star charms, and I thought I could use them on a lot of different pieces. Like, you don't need to have um, uh, a theme, really. Stars are good. And then these are just Christmas charms, because I, did, I don't have any more metal Christmas charms. I did get a bunch, um, maybe even a couple years ago now, at um, Oriental Trading. And these were, if they were half price, $2.50. So that's pretty good because I got like 14 of them. So I did that. So then this I thought would make a really cool, um, I'll show you these two in a minute, uh, 
project. So these are um, the Hobby Lobby brand spare parts, and these are just red, long stem roses. There's only, I think, five, six in there. These are music notes with glitter. There's ten in there. And then this, dress it up, was, how many are in here? doesn't say. Anywho, music, pianos, instruments. I thought that was super cool, and I think I have another music note thing like this from Mick, from um, Dress It Up, and I have some silver from Mementa that I'm going to make a black and red um, frame or something, but I think that could be super pretty. Uh, this might be long, but anyway, so yeah, I want to open this. I don't know how to open. It's like a... Cut myself is what I usually do when I open stuff like this. I think it'll open here. Um, what was I gonna say? My cousin Fran wanted a box, and she wants all Christmassy colors. So these, look at this. Mostly it says Noel. That's okay. I was wondering if it, if there were other words, but there's candy. A drum, some stars. A mitten. A train. A rocking horse. So, some cute ones, but mainly I like the buttons because they're just simple. And I thought even just a button covered um, lid would be cute enough, right? A red uh, mitten. Oh, these are like little cookie cutter stars. That's super cute. You got, I could either embed them this way or that way. So not a lot of different ones, but mainly it's just the buttons that I wanted anyway. Um, and I got two of them thinking they were 50% off. They weren't, but I mean, I could always see Hobby Lobby's like, uh, it's like about a half, it's a, probably 30 minutes. I drive fast. Um, and I take a back road. It's probably like 30 minutes. Where Michael's is like literally 5 minutes for me. And AC Moore is like 10 minutes. So I go there all the time. And I mean they probably will have. They may even have this type of stuff now. I just. It was just a nice day. And I wanted to take a ride yesterday. So I did. With my top down. Because um, I have a convoidable. Alright. I thought these were gorgeous for now these were $5.99 and spare parts was not on sale but sometimes you can go there and all their spare parts stuff will be on sale so that's when you should do it but like I said it was just kind of a, a whim I didn't think it ahead um, so these were $5.99 but there are 32 pieces in here and I just thought this would make another really cool looking mosaic so I'll embed these in clay and I'll use you know what else I got the other day I got some I think I want to use this on my Christmas ones too this is the ready leaf um, by art minds silver foil silver leaf right and I think this one comes with little paper in between that's what people like about it because they it comes in two versions but um, I'm going to make some silver um, grout sticks. And those of you who know, well, I make little polymer clay sticks out of, well, anyway. <clears throat> but to put on my Christmas ones too. But I may make like just silver and gold. There's some silver in here. These are silver. Look how cool. I just think they'll make a pretty cool looking um frame oh my gosh these are really cool these are pretty so these are um not dress it up sorry uh spare parts from hobby lobby just buttons but i mean and any of you guys that have vintage buttons or that collect buttons use them in your polymer clay go ahead and embed them in the clay and and be able to look at them at least like people that's what people ask about um stick pins like what do you use them for well you don't really use them for anything I just like to look at them they're over on display I have them sticking out of a pin cushion a bunch of them <laughs> but I have a Christmassy one 
and that's how I get to look at pretty beads because otherwise I mean you don't really see them all right and then this is what I wanted to touch so I think that's pretty much it oh no I got more stuff hold on these were on clearance so mainly I went for clay I was looking for clay stuff because look at these these were a dollar fifty I got her to give me this one for a dollar fifty it said two seventy but they're all the same and I got black this pink and silver and then this pink and gold which it's more of a like it's kind of a purpley pink pretty though and these I use in my mosaics I just cut them apart and you have a tiny little tile and a filler for a project so I thought these black ones would go awesome with my piano one so black and red um, you know and then these I just they were the only other colors they had and I love pink anyway so can't go wrong with that so I got them they were on clearance I got some more because come to find out now these are the koi water brushes and these are filled I use these for watercolor I'm gonna show you um, a couple things I've been working on this is getting long it's all right I can't tell anyway um, I couldn't get these open to refill them well it turns out I was turning them the wrong way I don't know why righty tighty lefty loosey but this is lefty tighty righty open so um yeah but these are good water brushes and the reason i like them see look i keep turning it to the right to close it um they had different nibs like this is more of a fine point which i am not a watercolor this one's a much wider one and i i like to use this one because it it just deposits more water i think but i wanted to try these these are the hobby lobby brand and this one has a super big um it's small medium large aqua flow brush and you just fill these up with um, and that $5.99 I thought was a really good price because some of them one brush can be depending on the brand um, a lot Ranger has one but this was one that I wanted to try this one look at all those bristles that's a that's a nice now let's see which way this opens <coughs> see righty tighty <coughs> I don't know why see lefty open um, but yeah, so you fill this up with water and you can then watercolor and I want to show you what I, what I did. Eh, they seem a little cheesy, but you know, when Maya's playing with me and stuff and the kids like, uh, Madison come over, we'll, we'll play with them. I give them to them, but I got this, I had gotten this visual journal at I think it was AC Moore and it was on it was on sale it was 40% off and it's just the mixed media paper it's not um, watercolor paper and Joanne Sharp had mentioned she has a couple videos out at the Strathmore uh, YouTube channel um, working on these watercolor cards and of course AC Moore and Michaels didn't have them and I happened to see them there and of course you can make your own cards out of watercolor paper and I have plenty of paper I could have done it with but I bought them. It comes with envelopes. They're ready to go. All right. And it's the Strathmore watercolor paper that she loves. She said the Tombow Markers ink love the Strathmore watercolor paper. So I had to go with that. Because I did do, I also found the visual journal in the watercolor paper. And she also talks about the hot press watercolor paper. There's cold press and hot press, and cold is bumpier and hot is smooth. And for lettering and writing, is it's better to have a smooth surface. So watercolor paper isn't ideal for lettering if you're just using a pen. Cold press is kind of bumpy. Um, but again, it's that Strathmore watercolor paper. So I am going to be playing in here when we start when we start lettering this year I'm sure Joanne's gonna do some watercolor activities and I will have that to, to work with but I'll show you what I've done so far in my this is the mixed media one this is just a little watercolor ATC I did 
Um, and I water, I used my Tombow. These might not even be the Tombow. I forget if I had them yet. The, they, this just may be um, the Tim Holtz distress markers. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm not a watercolor artist at all. I don't, I watch Lindsay, the frugal crafter, and just, it blows my mind because I know how to paint with acrylics, but I've not, I've not taken classes with, um, watercolor. So I was just playing around, but look at the Wink of Stella in the, um, in the sky. Can you see the shimmer? I don't know. I can. Um, but yeah, just basically my little home, that I did in my art journal, but I, I watercolored everything, or wink a stella -ed. I'm pretty sure I wink a stella -ed most of um, the shiny things are all wink a stella -ed. but yeah. But then, um, I think, I want to, a lot of these lessons are on Joanne Sharp's, I think they might be on her channel. I haven't done it, it was like a couple weeks ago, but I think they're either on the Strathmore um, YouTube channel or just enter in Joanne Sharp and a bunch of stuff comes up um, and she was just showing you how to make washes with the Tombow markers this was mainly Tombow marker um, but this is not watercolor paper it's kinda I don't know it's mixed media paper this is just um, a Tombow marker background and mine is saturated because I am a heavy hand I so basically she just takes the brush end of the marker and puts like seven swipes and then comes in with a water brush and just lets it kind of flow and you know but that's like a washy watercolory background and then I tried to do some lettering Tombow marker background with paint pen lettering um, this one this is kind of like my favorite and I'd like to figure out how to get this consistently you know um, I have let me show you on my here See, this is a piece she did, I'm pretty sure, and I may have even just, but I take, um, what is it called, screen pictures a lot when I like something and I'm, I'm inspired by it, um, and I can copy it later, but live in the moment, love deeply, dream really big, but see how it's a watercolor, I just love it. And these work up so fast. That's the thing. So if you could do a card, yeah, I'll show you what else I did. So this is just, first she had had me draw it with um, the marker. I think I came back with the darker marker too. And then you just go with your water brush and wet everything to kind of give it a washy effect. And then I came in with my... Um, probably my favorite Castell, uh, some permanent marker or pen and outlined everything. Uh, I was just playing around with, um, actually this little guy, this little dragonfly is from the Tombow paper. Look, I was trying to draw that because I love butterflies or dragonflies, either one. So, and just playing with the markers, just trying to be really fast and see what they did. And like, see, I don't know. I don't love the way that looks. Like it's kind of, eh, whatever. But I was just playing around. These came out much better. Believe, fly, hope, create. Um, still not sure what I'm doing though. So I definitely need, hopefully when she does a piece, she'll give good instruction. Because not a lot of people, I don't know. So I've had classes where they don't really tell you why or what or whatever. Um, I mean, I I don't know. It's kind of like muddy looking in some places, but they're cute. They're not bad. But I wouldn't necessarily do a card. Tis the season to shine. I love this. She just added stickles to make it. And hers, I probably, um, hers was simple. Simple, simple, simple. Very simple. I think I'm adding too much um, pigment to my background like I don't need that much so that there's white areas too um, this is ugh, I don't like it <laughs> um, and then I was just playing with my um, writing and my Tombow markers and stuff but um, so yeah I have these suckers and I am planning on because Joanne has now and it, I don't know what the date is on when she's gonna up the price I got it for $59 for the whole year She's doing a, um, 
a, a yearly class online uh, class that's going to have you know at least one main uh, lesson a month but more than that like two or three probably then I'm also in her book club that I joined on Facebook um, so hopefully I will learn something this year coming um, about watercoloring and about lettering and it's nice it's just interesting to um, get a little more knowledge you know because I mean I can letter everyone can letter right but it's just fun when you can use it in your art, right? And her, um, pretty sure her YouTube or um, Facebook page is called Winspirations. Well, no, Whimspirations. So I think it's Whimspirations by Joanne Sharp. All right, you guys, I knew that was really long. Maybe I should have done this separately, but it was in a haul. So, all right. Thanks for watching.